hello friends uh, welcome back to the video series on design of steel structural elements so in this uh, uh, video I will just show you how to design a column basis that is a slab base type design right now the problem is uh, design a slab base for a column that is ISHP 350 at the rate 661.2 Newton per meter this is a column to carry a factored load of 1000 kilonewton right and uh, this column is being supported on a concrete pedestal of grade M25 and the steel what we are going to use for this column that is for the base plate and all other uh, structural things it is FE415 grade steel right so we have to design the column base now uh, before actually designing the column base now let me just uh, find out what is actually the bearing strength of concrete so the bearing strength of concrete is given by 0.45 times FCK where FCK is the characteristic strength of the concrete since we are going to use m25 so fck will be uh, 25 newton per mm square so if i do that do that so 0.45 times 25 i'm getting a value of around 11.25 newton per mm square okay so this is the bearing strength on the concrete and the load that is a factored load for which I have to design my base plate that is slab base is 1000 kiloton so the area that to be provided for the base plate is so it is given as the total factored load divided by the bearing strength of concrete so it is 1000 into 10 is to 3 newtons divided by 11.25 that is the bearing strength of concrete so which is coming out to be 88.88 into 10 is to 3 uh, millimeters square okay so I am getting the area of base plate as 88.88 into 10 to 3 millimeter square now uh, how should be the orientation of the column and how should be the uh, actual size of the uh, what is the shape of the base plate so we are going to use a rectangular type of base plate so this is how the shape of the base plate will be okay so this is how the shape of the base plate will be now this dimension is 350 that is the uh, depth of the column because we are going to use ISHB 350 right so here on the projections I have to leave 50 mm here right 50 mm here and 50 mm projections I have to leave because I have to accommodate anchor bolts in this so this 350 plus 50 plus 50 it becomes 450 right so one of the dimensions of the base plate is 450 and I actually know the area of the base plate so let this dimension be L right so now I need to find the other dimension other dimension can be easily find out as the total area of the base plate which is 88.88 into 10 raised to 3 millimeter square divided by the one side of the base plate which I know which is 450 mm right so I can get the other one as 197.51 right 197.51 but uh, before that I need to actually check what is the flange width of ISHB uh, 350 right so I will just check what is the flange width of ISHB 350 so flange width of ISHB 350 is actually 250 mm so I can't provide 200 mm because this dimension will be 250 that is from here to here so this dimension is 250 so I need to I have some projection of uh, 30 mm here and 30 mm here so which will be with 250 plus 30 is uh, 280 and on this side 30 so 280 plus 30 is 310 so I will go for 300 300 millimeters so therefore so this will be 300 
so therefore provide base plate of so therefore provide a base plate of size 450 by 300 so now I will actually find what is the actual area of the base plate so actual area of the base plate provided will be 450 by 300 so which is coming out to be 13,000 uh, sorry the 135,000 millimeter square so now actually I will check the actual bearing strength on the concrete which is coming out so which will be equal to the total load that is 1000 into 10 to 3 newtons divided by the area of base plate provided So which is coming out to be 7.4 Newton per mm square. This is the actual bearing pressure which is coming out on the on the concrete. So since this is less than the bearing strength of the concrete that is M25 grade which is 11.25 Newton per mm square. So hence the area of base plate what we have provided is okay right okay now what I will do mm, I will try to find out some projections here so this projection that is okay so this projection we call it as a dimension a so this one is called as a projection and this projection is called as B right okay so now if I see the diagram I can easily find out that A is 50 mm and B will be 300 minus the flange width divided by 2 so which is coming out to be 25 millimeters okay so with these values there is a direct formula to calculate the thickness of base plate which is given as TS okay under the root 2.5 times W mm, the brackets A square minus 0.3 times B square okay into gamma M naught divided by F phi so this should be actually greater than the thickness of flange of the column so we'll check how much will be the thickness of base plate uh, according to this formula 2.5 times W is actually the actual bearing pressure on concrete which is coming out to be 7.4 in the bracket A is 50 minus 0.3 times 25 square this whole thing divided by F5 is 250 so this is coming out to be 13 point zero 0.08 millimeters 13.08 millimeters so since this is greater than I will check, check the thickness of flange of ISHB 350 which is uh, uh, 11 point six this is greater than eleven point six so it is okay so instead of adopting thirteen mm uh, base plate I will try to adopt twenty mm thick base plate so this base plate is having a thickness of 20 mm okay so this is how we decide on the size of the base plate that is the dimensions of the base plate and the thickness of the base plate now what I have to do I have to actually uh, uh, design the connection between the column and the base plate now what I will do here uh, I am going to use the welded connection to connect this column to this base plate so what I will do I will try to provide the welding all around this column I will provide the welding all around this column so the figure 
now what I will do I will actually neglect this round shapes and I will assume them as the there are some sharp edges okay so I will try to draw this diagram how the wedding looks like so this is how uh, it looks like so this is the base plate so this is the column and uh, this hatched portion is actually the welding so now I will calculate how much length of weld I have provided so length of weld provided is so it is okay so these are the two faces one here and one here so I will multi two times 250 right and also I am providing weld on this side and weld on this side but I have to deduct the thickness of web so plus 2 times 250 minus the thickness of web so the thickness of web for the ISHB 350 is 10.1 minus 2 times 10.1 okay plus okay so this side is over plus I will provide weld here and also I will provide weld here okay so the total depth of the column is 350 minus okay 2 times the thickness of flange which is 11.6 so 350 minus 2 times the thickness of flange this whole thing should be multiplied by 2 because I am providing a one face here and the other face here now this this one this one and this one I am actually not considering because it's a very small length of weld so this value I am getting something around so it is 1633.4 so 1633.4 millimeters of weld I can provide now I will check whether this much of weld this much of length of weld is sufficient to take 1000 kN or not so what I will do uh, I will assume the uh, uh, size of weld so I will assume that I am going to use 6 mm flat weld okay I will assume that uh, there is a weld uh, of size 6 mm now okay now the condition is the strength of weld okay the total strength of weld must be equal to the total factored load which is coming on the column now the total strength of weld is given as right stress in the weld which is 189.37 because I am assuming that the weld is being done in the shop 189.7 Newton per mm square that is the stress in the weld multiplied by the area of weld which is 0 0.7 times the 6 this term gives the effective throat thickness in millimeters right so this multiplied by the length of weld which I don't know I will put it as LE so this should be equal to the total factor load which is coming on the column okay so this is also in millimeters so this millimeter millimeter and millimeter square goes so this uh, this side it remains in a newtons so if I solve this I am getting a LE value equal to I am getting it as 1255.11 it means that to take a load of 1000 kN we require a total weld length of 1255.11 mm if we are using 6 mm fillet weld so since this is less than the available length that is 1633.4 mm so hence whatever weld we have provided is ok ok so this is how we design the slab base uh, I hope you have understood this one this is a very simple one so only thing is you need to remember this formula uh, we'll see on the design of gusseted base in the next video till then thank you bye